Look, Smith, we're nearly three weeks into pre-season now. How are things going for you? Yeah, fine. Uh, didn't take us long to get you know back into the you know the swing, and you know balls are out pretty early. The lads have worked hard, um, hard sessions, a um, couple of games under our belts. You know things are. Things are picking up. And you're feeling fit and ready to go. Yeah. The summer programme to keep yourself fit applies as much to goalkeepers, I presume, as it does to outfield players. Yeah. Um, and, um, you know, like everyone says it, but nowadays, you know, people come back, you know, it's a different sort of state of mind. People, people aren't putting on a couple of stone and coming back quite fit. Um, so it's just sort of a case of hitting the, hitting the ground running. You know, I feel pretty good. Um, um, you know, pretty fit to be honest with you. Quite, you know, up there with the, with the best I've felt for for a long, long time. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And in your, I think, 17 year career, has has pre season changed for you? You say you know, players used to enjoy their summers maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, 20th season by the way. <laughs> okay. um, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it definitely has changed. Even 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 for myself, you know. When I was younger, it just used to be about not putting on too much weight. Um, but you, had, you know, you were given you know about three kilos or four kilos to come back. But you know, nowadays you, you don't you don't want to be that because you, you know that it, you're going to pay for it when you get back. So it comes with a bit of maturity, I suppose, as well. But yeah, and, and the way that we do things and the way that we we get fitter, it's all changed. Um, and um, you know, I definitely feel you know. The benefits now, you know, you, you don't get so sore, you don't get so many injuries. It, it's all done a lot, a lot more um, scientifically, and you know, the lads benefit in the end. Uh, are you enjoying working with Barry? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, he's um, uh, he's kept me, um, you know, he's been very honest with me, he kept me, you know, involved in everything he wants me to do and everything like that. So yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a good good three weeks so far, and, and, and you know, I'm. I'm Excited for the season. And Ian Harris has also returned. What what does he bring specifically to the goalkeeping team? Um, when he brings, you know, I think you know goalkeeper coaches are, are you know necessity nowadays. You know, especially at a level where you want to compete and professionalism. Um, he he brings you know a sort of a a figure to you know vent your angers to and you know somebody who understands what you're going through can talk you through what you what's going on and and um you know keep your keep your mind on you know what you're doing wrong can see things that managers can't see that you're doing right or doing wrong and and, and pick you up that way and then obviously you know the training sessions that that he takes are specific to us and get us fitter in, in different ways um than just running um and, and ball work so um it's invaluable, really, and we all get on well. We've got a tight knit little group, the three of us, so um, and young James. So um, it's um, yeah, it, it's invaluable. And he, from what I've seen of training, he looks like quite a hard taskmaster. He doesn't, he doesn't let up. Yeah, no, we, we don't we don't sit about doing nothing when he comes in. That's for certain. So yeah, and it's all good for us because it's it's bits that, that we need to do and, and don't necessarily wouldn't necessarily do. Um, if we're left to our own devices, so it's important to um, to uh, to have someone like Ian in. And even after those twenty years, as it is, you're, you feel you know, you're you're still learning. They're still you're always striving for perfection, I suppose. Oh, definitely, and I always want to always want to do better, and I suppose um, and step forward. And you know, I have felt a lot, you know, like that, I've, you know, over my career that I've sort of you know kept sort of getting better, if you like. And you know, last year I felt I'd done. I've done quite well, so I want to keep going again, and as a, as a team and as a, as a player, I want to do better again this season, and um, hopefully it benefits everybody. And that, that wanting to do better is a big part of why players are returning. When we spoke earlier in the summer, you said it was an easy decision to, to re-sign, to renew your contract, but it wasn't an easy season last year, but you still enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it wasn't... It wasn't uh, a hugely successful season, but we had some good times, we had some good results. Um, the FA Cup obviously was, was good for everybody, the club and the town and everything. Um, you know, that's a sort of a short fix success. Everyone would like to have a bit of a long term success and and um, you know build a bit of a, um, a foundation really for for, for um, you know the club moving forward. And there seems to be just three weeks in, there seems to be a good a good atmosphere in the dressing room already. Yeah, the lads have gelled pretty, you know, really well. Um, you know, we had quite well, not quite a few, the 
and that's coming back. You know, at first it seemed like there'd be quite a few coming back, and then obviously it's not really turned out that way. But you know, um, everyone's got on really well uh, early, quickly, um, and it's um, we haven't got a lot of players, and that makes it sort of, I suppose, a bit easier because yeah. there isn't so many new faces. But everyone's getting on well. And I'm sure there'll be new faces and coming in, and then they'll fit in. You know, we're a, we're a good bunch of lads, really. So it's um, it's it's we're all enjoying it together. And on Barry's first day, he came in and said, the same as same as what you said, he wants to be competing at the other end of the table. Playoffs have been mentioned. I guess that's you know, that helps the atmosphere and also you know, it makes players want to come here. Yeah, exactly. Um, everyone wants to have success, and you know, um, not a lot of clubs get success every season. So to be in that sort of uh, in that bracket is what everybody really wants to do. And, and you know, you don't forget those times, and they stick with you throughout your career. So. Everyone starts the season one into Adam, and um, you know, fingers crossed that we can we can all walk out at the end of the season with some some good memories. And obviously, no predictions or anything yet. But from what you've seen so far, you think there is a good chance of that? Yeah, definitely. We have got some good players. Um, I think everybody knows at this level that the difficulty is finding the consistency in performances. So um, hopefully, we can do that, and um, we can. Um, you know, we can stand part of authority on, on, on what we want to do. And particularly for you, the defence has looked really solid so far and that, yeah, there are some, some big experienced players yeah. playing in front of you this year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got, you know, Sean is, who's, you know, um, he's a great calibre of player. Um, Luke's played a lot of games. He's a, you know, he's a big tower and that. Jack's got a promotion under his belt from last season. Um, and then uh, right back, young Shay. He's you know he's he's young. He's he's fast. He's strong. And he wants to do really well. And you know I've I've obviously been around the block a few years. Like so, we we've got a good sort of um, a good foundation there. And Barks obviously not forgetting not forgetting Barks. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he's been around the block just a little bit less than me. But he's been so yeah. We've got a good um, we've got a good backbone there really. So um, and we've got some great footballers in in the middle. So. Um, yeah, it looks positive. As long as you know, touch wood, we can keep keep people fit, keep things moving forward, and um, yeah, it's, um, it's it's all positive.